Hey guys, this is Marty. It's May 7th, 2019. We're going to Christie's today. Christie's Auction House in Rockefeller Center, New York. You know, I used to walk across the street uh, and at least once a week during lunch, I'd come over here and see what's on view for upcoming auctions. And today there's a very rare collection of works of art by the most famous impressionist and modern art artists of the 20th century. And I wanted to give you an opportunity to get up close and personal to them. And so uh, come walk with me and uh, let's check them out. So this is Andy Warhol's iconic silkscreen of Elvis Presley. Uh, you know, Andy Warhol was a really interesting guy. He was fascinated with celebrity culture and commercialism. Uh, he began as a commercial illustrator and sign painter, and he'd often take images of mundane objects like soup cans and uh, create huge paintings of them. He'd even autograph actual cans of soup for six bucks. What we have here is a painting by Vincent van Gogh. You know, this guy obviously needs no introduction. Believe it or not, he only sold one painting throughout his entire life, yet he created over 2,100 artworks in just over a 10-year period, most of them in his last two years of his life. He died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound when he was just uh, 37. Here we have a Picasso oil on canvas, which is selling for seven to ten million dollars. This is a very famous painting by Amadeo Montigliani. You can always recognize his work from the long faces and necks. He died young, just 35 years old, from uh, TB, uh, tubercular meningitis. And this guy is one of my favorites, Marc Chagall. Marc Chagall was Russian and French. His work had so much love and so much playfulness. His colors are just amazing. Picasso was quoted as saying, Chagall will be the only painter left who understands what color really is. Now, this painting is gouache and pastel on paper and it's uh, selling for, I believe, 700,000 to a million bucks. We have a Picasso right here. He was a sculptor, a, a printmaker, a ceramicist. And this is uh, actually some photos of Picasso. And it looks like Chagall. Chagall and Picasso were really good friends. They both did a lot of ceramics together. And uh, I particularly like Chagall's ceramics better than Picasso's, but that's just me. This painting is by Claude Monet, who is a French Impressionist. Monet's work is extraordinary. He was really considered the, the founder, or one of the founders of Impressionism. And uh, this is selling for 15, 15 to 25 million dollars. You know, Impressionism, they were, Impressionists were rejected by what was called the Salon, which was the official art exhibition in Paris. And in the um, mid to late 19th century, it was the greatest annual or biennial art event in the world. So. In 1871, the Impressionists got together and created the first of eight exhibitions. Actually, the term Impressionism is derived from the title of one of Monet's paintings, and I can't speak French, but basically it's interpreted as Impression Sunrise. This is Renoir. You can see the difference in the style. It's just extraordinary. This one's selling for eight to 12 million. This one is by Edward Degas. It's pastel on paper. He's regarded as one of the founders of Impressionism, but he really hated the term for himself and he preferred to be called a realist. And uh, he often belittled the Impressionists. This pastel is going for two to three million bucks. 
This is by Paul Cezanne. It's pencil on paper, and you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a grid, a pencil grid, and it looks to me as if he did that as a sketch for a larger painting. Artists use grids oftentimes, and then they make a grid on the large canvas so they could um, pretty much replicate what their sketch was. And this is selling for 150 to 250,000. That's the asking price. This is another example of uh, pop art. This is by Roy Lichtenstein. And he used to be these really ornate silk screens of uh, pop art. And this is actually selling for 30, to fifty million dollars. Yep. Yep. Over here we have another Warhol. This one is of Elizabeth Taylor, the actress. She was really popular in the uh, 60s especially. And this sucker selling for 20 to 30 million dollars. This piece is by Salvador Dali. He was one of the founders of surrealism. Might even be considered the most prolific and most famous of the surrealists. This is selling for 1 to 1.5 million. This looks like a Roy Lichtenstein pop art piece. Indeed it is. This is going between four to, what does it say here? Four to six million. He was one of the uh, co-founders, I would say, of uh, the pop art movement, along with Warhol and a, a few others. That's what we have here. Oh, yeah, this is a David Hockney over here. He was an English guy. He ended up living in L.A. and was fascinated with uh, the whole L.A. culture, uh, swimming pools in particular. He did many, many lithographs of swimming pools. He was just fascinated with it. This piece is selling for 9 million to 12 million bucks. This is a piece by Keith Haring. In the uh, 70s, he used to do graffiti, draw in the subway on these um, panels that had posters removed from and on black, it was basically black, and he would draw with white chalk these figures. This is selling for one to one and a half million. Uh, this is another one of his pieces. He was known for these little guys that he loved to do. And um, he was probably the most famous graffiti artist ever in the art world. Uh, this is actually a piece by Alexander Calder. He's known for mobiles. It's kind of an unusual one for him, I think. Most of them are different flat shapes, very, very uh, bright colors, usually primary colors. This is a nice piece. Let's see what we have here. Okay, this is more contemporary pieces. I'm not big on contemporary. I like modern art, which is what we were just looking at. But contemporary pieces are a bit too, um, I don't know, cerebral and not, to me, not organic. I think it's a bunch of the emperor's new clothes, so to speak. But that's just my opinion, obviously. Yeah, this, this section I'm not impressed with. Not at all. So, what I'm going to do is go around. Actually, I'm going to go back down, down the stairs here and uh, see what's up.
This is a piece by Henry Moore. He was an English artist and sculptor, uh, probably the most famous English sculptor of the 20th century. He's credited for introducing modernism to the UK. This is a photo of him carving a sculpture out of plaster. Uh, he was really into um, biomorphic forms, uh, lots of holes within the forms, and um, just really uh, very abstract and very organic looking. So we're back to where we started in front of Elvis over here. Uh, let me know if you want me to do more of these type vlogs or not. Just leave a comment below. And uh, in the meantime, take care.